What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the URI component to string function. So what's this all about? Well, in one of the previous videos, I talked about the URI component function, which takes the URL that you pass in, and then it will take out any um, dangerous characters, um, like any escape characters like... Um, forward slashes and, and colons and things like that um, if they may be potentially dangerous for storing them in a database or a file um, it takes those out and replaces those with other characters kind of like what you would see if you're um, looking at a URL um, inside D365 for instance where you get like percentage threes and percentage twos and stuff like that so the function that we're looking at today the URI component to string actually can convert those back from the escape characters back into a string so if you are using this to store the data first and then you need to pull it out and reconfigure that string this is or that url this is how you would do it so let's take a look at it so i have a manual trigger flow here and i've got two inputs a text input and a number input i ignore the number input for now and just focus on the text input uh, then below that we have one of the ones that we've used in our previous videos, the URI component. And all this does is this just looks at the um, the trigger. It takes the text that we're putting into the manual trigger and then converts that to a URI component. We then have a second compose action. And we'll click into the inputs and go over to expression. And we'll scroll down until we find the conversion functions. Click see more scroll all the way down until we find URI component string. So it returns a string representative of a URI encoded string. Uh, and as you see here, there's only one parameter, which is a value that we need to pass in. So if we click it, and then flip back to dynamic content, um, we're going to put the output into that um, function. So it's basically taking that output from the first compose action, which is converting it to URI component, uh, and then we're going to convert that back into a string in this second compose action. So we'll click OK. And then we'll click Test. So I'll perform the trigger action. And in the input, we'll put HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash Microsoft.com forward slash power automate. Automate. There you go. And we'll run the flow. Click Done. Flow runs successfully. So in the uh, in the manual trigger, we can see the input that I've got here is the Microsoft.com forward slash Power Automate. Then in the first compose action, we can see that it's taken out the colons, it's taken out the forward slashes, so the colon is replaced by a percentage three A, and then the forward slash is taken is replaced by a percentage um, percentage two F. Uh, percent, yeah, uh, sorry, a two a two F, a percentage two F. That's right, um, and that's how that's represented. Uh, and then when we put that into the second compose action, it then takes those uh, those characters and then repopulates them into the string URL that we had to begin with. So again, this is kind of useful if you are storing things as a URI component. Again, you might be putting this into a database or into a file share or something like that that may need to take these characters out because it may break um, the script. Um, so if you're you know passing this into something that will then uh, run some scripting language that if you have a colon or a forward slash may break it, that's where you would use this sort of function. And this can then convert that back. So if you pass that back into Power Automate and need to convert that back to something that is um, that you can like navigate to, that's why this is useful. Um, but it doesn't have, or just have to be URLs. You could use um, file names and things like that and uh, you know file locations or directories and stuff like that. So that could be useful as well. Um, as I've kind of said in my previous video, these sorts of functions haven't been particularly useful for my use cases at the moment, but I would like to know where they are useful and how you are using them. So if you let me know in the comments down below, that would be appreciated, uh, and I can have a have a discussion with you and learn some something from you. Um, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, it always helps grow this channel and uh, get more views, so that's important. Um, if you've not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can um, see all the latest videos. And, uh, and get all the latest news. Uh, and if you're not already, you can also follow me on Twitter or LinkedIn um, or follow my blog, d365geek.co.uk. So that's it for now, and hope this is useful, and I'll see you next time.